Welcome back to our fall garden recipe video series. My name is Kelly Burgess. I'm the Family Consumer Sciences Extension Agent with the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service in Allen County and also is Nancy Owens, our NEP assistant in Allen County. Uh, today we're making two recipes uh, with turnips. So we will be showing you how to use the root part of the turnip and also the turnip greens. I'll be demonstrating the first recipe, which is called turnip tater mash. So it will definitely put you in mind of mashed potatoes. Uh, so just to get us started, I have a pot of water boiling on our burner here. Um, and we're going to add two cups of peeled diced uh, turnips. And so the kind of turnips that I used were just like this, uh, your classic turnips with the purple on top. Um, we peeled them right before we uh, slice them up to put them in our in our recipe. You don't want to peel them too far in advance. So we'll just add these two cups to our pot. And then we are also going to use uh, potatoes. The recipe calls for one cup of Yukon gold potatoes, also diced. And we're going to boil these together along with a quarter cup of onion until they are soft. So it doesn't tell you exactly how long to do, but I'm thinking about 15 minutes should probably be perfect. So while we're waiting on that to boil and cook, um, we can go ahead and start on our turnip green soup. Okay, with our turnip green soup, um, we've got the turnip leaves like this. And what I did, you wanna make sure that when you're preparing these that you take the larger portion of the stem off of it because that makes it a little bit bitter. So I've got my turnips. I just kind of take my hand and just kind of tear them up a little bit. It does say kind of dice them up. And then we're going to take and we're going to add eight ounces of roasted turkey in here. Thank you, Kelly. Uh Uh-huh. And that could be leftover turkey oh, or yes. deli turkey. Yes. Really, whatever you have. And then we're going to add one medium onion. And then we're going to add a half a cup of fresh carrots. Now, what happened was I did a recipe a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and I had frozen carrots and peas. So I'm like, there's no need in wasting those. We can just pull those out of the freezer and use those. So that's why we're using a little bit of peas in there. And then we're going to have one potato, and that's peeled and diced. And then... We're going to um, take all of those vegetables that we have in our large pot and we're going to uh, add our garlic in there. And we're also going to add in our beans. We've got one, uh, I think it's an eight ounce can. Mm -hmm. Just your regular, yeah, can your regular like can yes. size. Uh -huh. 15 ounce can. And then we're going to, uh, we washed and drained those beans before I put those in there and we're going to add one cup of water and then we're going to add chicken broth and that is it's just a 15 ounce can okay. too but if you had a bigger amount of it you could measure out your almost two cups and then we're going to just kind of cover all of this and we're going to let this boil. And it's probably going to take, I'd say about 20 minutes or so for the potatoes and things in there to get tender. And those greens, once they kind of start to wilt, yes. then that'll probably help everything to get pushed down in the liquid more. All right, so We'll take a quick break, but then when we come back, we'll be able to see what the soup looks like when it's finished, and then we'll also get to finish up the turnip tater mash recipe. Uh, is that all you had for soup? Yep, that's all we have for our soup. All right, well, we'll be right back. All right, so after your turnips, potatoes, and onions have cooked together. Uh, we cooked them for about 20 minutes on boiling, and that was enough to get them soft. We have drained them in a colander and put them back in a large uh, 
a large mixing bowl. And so this next part is super easy. Uh, it's basically just like you would make mashed potatoes, um, except for we're incorporating another fall vegetable that maybe you're less familiar with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand mixer. You can also use a potato masher, just a hand one, if you don't have a mixer or don't feel like getting it out. So I'll go ahead and mix these up and then we'll add in um, a little bit of seasonings and that will be all for this one. Uh -uh. Woohoo! <laughs> oh gosh. That's on the lowest setting there. That's the lowest. Okay, we'll go ahead and add in the butter. This is a teaspoon of butter. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of sour cream. And some garlic salt, a half teaspoon of that. I like this idea. <laughs> Have a lot less uh, renegade turnips and potatoes. But while I'm working on mashing this up, we could talk a little bit about your turnip green soup, Nancy. I yes. think it's almost With the done. turnip green soup, um, it says on the recipe that you have to cook this for one hour. You just kind of turn it down once it starts boiling and seeing that the turnips get a little tender, or the turnip greens, then you can um, turn it down and you boil it covered for an hour. Um, one of the things that you need to know about the turnip greens is um, the younger that you pick those, the more sweet and savory the taste is gonna be. If you pick those turnip greens after they become larger and more adult size and the stems are larger, they're gonna have more of a bitter, more of a uh, pungent taste to them. That peppery kinda mm -hmm. gets yeah. the back of your throat a little bit. Well, I can't wait to see what the what your soup looks like. Do you wanna put some in a bowl and I we'll sure take a look? It looks awesome. And it's got the big chunks of the turkey in it. And then you have your little carrots and your potatoes. So that is what our turnip soup looks like. Oh, that looks awesome. I am totally having that for lunch today. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um, I like this uh, hand potato masher a lot better. So that might be a good tip. And they really do, if you've cooked them to where they're soft, it mashes up very easily. Um, and just another note of something that I did on this recipe, um, it calls to peel your uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. Um, I did peel my turnips, but I did not peel the potatoes. Uh, but really, if you don't mind the potato skins, I think it gives it a nice texture. Mm -hmm. um, and it also gives you all of those extra vitamins and minerals that you find in the skins. And really with those gold potatoes, the skins are very thin. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as thick as the the larger russet potatoes uh, where they're more thick and kind of stocky. So anyways, we have our potatoes mashed. So I'll go ahead and serve some of those into this little bowl so we can see our, our finished product. And it really does melt in that butter and the sour cream very nicely. And since it is so flavorful, you don't have to use a, a large quantity of either one of those. Uh, so it really keeps it um, healthy, but also super tasty, because that's always our goal. But um, turnips have a lot of nutrition to offer too, don't they? They Especially sure do. the, the leaves and the bases, or the root part, I should say. Yeah, one of the things I noticed learning um, from the information today is that the turnip greens help regulate your kidney function. And I was not aware of that. Yeah. And they're also good with the uh, vitamin A, C, and K. So, you know, if you're, they're, they're just, and they're low in calories. Yes. That's another reason, uh, 25 calories for a one cup serving. Yeah. So it's not that many calories. And that's a great thought too, um, as far as talking about the calories for something like the turnip tater mash. If you're somebody who is trying to watch your blood sugar and maybe you like mashed potatoes, uh, but need to kind of control your carbohydrates a little bit. The turnips have less carbohydrates mm -hmm. than potatoes do. And so by mixing those together, you can instill joy, enjoy something that tastes like a favorite food, uh, but is a little bit more health friendly as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously these are fall crops. We're they are. growing them right now, uh, but you can also grow them in the spring in Kentucky as well. Yeah, and you wanna look for these at your farmer's market 
You know, a lot of people think that once fall's over, they can't get those crops, but a lot of the farmers in Kentucky have the high tunnels, so you're gonna be able to get those turnip greens and the turnips year round almost. And I know that the turnips themselves, they last a lot longer. Um, so I know we have a farmer here in Allen County that he says that he can put those turnips away and, and months later he, he can still sell those. Yes, and that's a really good point. Um, if you're trying to store them in your refrigerator, uh, they store for about two weeks uh, really well. You just want to put them in a plastic bag um, and put them in that crisper drawer in your refrigerator. Um, so if you go ahead and find some at your local farmer's market and you're not quite ready to make one of your recipes yet, you can keep them in your refrigerator for a couple weeks uh, until they're ready. So I'm excited to try these recipes. Uh, we have some more recipes coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, also with our turnip green soup recipe, you can make this if you don't want to use the turnip greens. You can use like collard greens, mustard greens, or you can use kale. So um, kelly is just another green that's kind of ruffly. Um, once it's cooked, I myself don't prefer it raw, but a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. um, I have a problem now that I've gotten older being able to chew certain things. So I, right. I can't chew it once I get those. But uh, you can try different greens in this. Don't just limit yourself to the turnip greens. Mm -hmm. um, you know, try different greens in this and uh, see how you like that also. They really are interchangeable, mm -hmm. they so are. many different things. They are. And speaking of interchangeable, um, I will say too, on our turnip tater mash, it called for sour cream, uh, but what I had was non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. really accomplishes the same effect. It adds a little bit of protein, um, and it has less fat, of course, right. than so full it takes fat those sour calories cream. calories down that everybody's counting. Yes, exactly. Well, I'm really excited for our next video, uh, which will be covering kale, I think, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. And okra. And okra. So um, we hope you enjoyed this one today. If you uh, make one of these recipes or have your turnips growing in your backyard, uh, send us a video, send us a picture. We want to see your progress on your fall gardens. Uh, so come back again uh, and join us to learn about kale and okra. Have a great day. Thank you.